Yo, I'm going to quickly talk about this game called The Signal State. The devs gave me a copy to review before the full release, so I thought I'd mention my experience with it. It's a hardcore logic puzzle game with about 41 puzzles all up, although I would argue that about a quarter of the puzzles in the game are more tutorials, which do a half ass job because they only show you what a device can do. There's uh, 29 storyline puzzles which you must complete to unlock the next ones and 12 optional ones that show up the further you progress in the game. Uh, the game mainly composes of very difficult puzzles, especially after the halfway mark. I very quickly got out of my depth when I had to make some sort of four phase bit flipping mechanism that had to be injected into two separate clock systems toggling each of them on and off. And then some of the solutions to the puzzles are like, holy fuck, what the fuck have I created? What does anything here do? What the actual fuck is happening? There is a story that plays before and after every puzzle, but it's not particularly interesting. Um, for most people looking for logic puzzles, they aren't going to care too much about the story, especially if it feels tacked on, like an afterthought, that's what's kind of like here. But it's to give it a bit, a bit more substance. So I won't judge it based on that. But seriously, fuck Gordon. So annoying, he thinks he's better than me, stupid bitch. I will say though, the UI of the game is superb and looks amazing. They've got some dude called Paper Noise to design the modules. And they've done the work for some brands like Mutable Instruments. I'm not in that space, so I don't really know. But might be your cup of tea. And from what I've seen in the game... They make some pretty pog designs. And if you like cable management, you should also enjoy this game. Unless you're like me and you also enjoy cable management chaos, I'm sure this will <laughs> I'm sure this is going to trigger some people's flight or fight response. The music gets pretty old quickly. It's normally just a chill vibe and repeats endlessly, but it adds to the atmosphere. After you complete the final story puzzle in the game, you get access to every module in the game and can use them in any puzzle you've completed so far. A lot of the achievements in the game involve revisiting older puzzles with modules you didn't have access to and can be generally quite fun. One of my biggest gripes with the game is that before each puzzle, you are able to see the global best stats for said level. And as a puzzle game, you should not be seeing potential clues as to how to solve a level before you've even loaded it up. I feel that's a common sense thing to do. And bundled with the previous point I mentioned, that you can go back and revisit older puzzles with newer modules, some of the global best stats are misleading because they were achieved post-story puzzles. Which could have very easily lead people to believe that there are better immediate solutions or that people are already hacking in a puzzle game. The game is around 25 US dollars. Would I recommend it? Well, if you're a person that's into hardcore logic puzzles, yes. If you're a mechanical or electrical engineer or someone that works with signal flow like an audio technician and like a challenge, yes. I feel this game was designed by an engineer of some type. However, if you're a ca casual puzzle game player and enjoy relaxing puzzles with story-based puzzle games, then I'd say give it a skip or wait till it's a little bit cheaper as you'd likely get frustrated with the majority of the puzzles in this game.